Election day approaches. Apparently, Republican senators are very worried about their job security. Uh, so some are publicly seeming to distance themselves from you know who. But uh, Texas Senator John uh, Cornyn says uh, he disagrees with you know who privately to take care of business. What's the right way to deal with all of this? Stuff, Joy. Is this the right way? Just distance yourself, and then you're, then everybody thinks you're all right. Well, I'm not a fan of uh, these private conversations. I want to know what's going on. I, you know, I, I used, to, I worked with Rush Limbaugh um, in the early '90s. We were basically in the same floor. His show came on after mine on the radio, and then sometimes mm -hmm. I would see mm -hmm. him. He was around, and. Um, you know, he's a very friendly guy. Another time I ran into him and he, he lifted me up off the ground. He, very, very strong guy, apparently. Um, mm -hmm. The only other person mm -hmm. who was able to do that was Jay Leno and LL Cool J. And those are very strong. They can lift me. Right. So what I would say about that is, right. yes, Rush Limbaugh, friendly guy, really nice in private, you know? Probably it's the, uh, it has right. a few laughs in him. But on, but on the radio, mm -hmm. he's hateful, he's racist, he's misogynistic. And he incites uh, bad things, very bad behavior. So mm -hmm. what, what's the point of it? Right. What good is it if he's a nice guy backstage and can lift Joy Behar up into the air? It's useless, useless. Just right. like this right. guy Cornyn is useless. Right. What, what about you, Sarah? What do you think of that? Well, um, I'm convinced that it's some form of strategy from the GOP because we saw the Democrats kind of unite in, uh, when they were questioning uh, the judge, Amy Coney Barrett, and they really stuck to their messaging and avoided certain topics. And now we're seeing Senator Cruz and uh, Ben Sass both used certain language. I think they all got on a phone call because by now planting this, like it's, it's going to be bad, it's going to be bad, they're making sure people show up to vote. So um, because the way it's all happening at the same time and people are after all the four years now speaking up and coming out and going on the record rather than privately it just feels mm -hmm. a little too contrived for me right what about you Anna what do you think Look, I don't think, uh, I don't, this weekend Donald Trump was saying in a rally that if he loses he's going away I think we've got the clip could you imagine Which, if I lose my whole life? What am I going to do? I'm going to say, I lost to the worst candidate in the history of politics. I'm not going to feel so good. Maybe I'll have to leave the country. I don't know. Well, I'm ready to chip in for his oh, one-way okay. ticket right. to North Korea. Uh, or, or Putin might take him. <laughs> but look, Siberia. Uh, honestly, uh, he's not leaving, and he's not leaving the political scene, even if he loses. And I don't think we should take that for granted. Uh, four years ago, Hillary Clinton had a 10-point advantage in the national polls at this time. So let's not take it for granted. But even if he loses, you better believe he and his family, this, you know, they're a bunch of grifters. This is their shtick now. They are going to be involved in Republican politics. They have great control over the Republican base. They have great influence. And so I think you're not going to see um, as much distancing because even if he loses, he is right. going to be tweeting away against people who speak against him, right. Republicans who speak against him from the confines of his gold-gilded townhouse, penthouse, whatever he has right. in New York. But again, I'm ready to pitch in for the one-way ticket to right. donde sea. And Republicans Bye -bye. know that, Anna, so Bye -bye. it is strategy. What I do about you, Sonny? Strategy. Really quick before before we before we go, Sonny, what's your what do you how do you feel about this? I just think it's too little too late. You know, they I feel mm. like the Republicans had their opportunity to impeach and indict. I think Republicans, again, uh, had their opportunity uh, to not try to uh, push through this Judge Barrett and in a, a terrible abuse of process. And so now that they're trying to distance themselves uh, from the president, I think the Republican Party has um, clearly become uh, President Trump, and President Trump is the Republican Party. I don't think there's distancing between right. them at all. I think they've enabled this president. So that's yeah. my take. All right, there you have it.